Hi, I'm Carmen from Data School Cohort 19. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a tree plot, which is part of Workout Wednesday 2019, Week 6. Tree plots are great to show how smaller pieces contribute to the bigger picture. This is the tree plot we're trying to recreate today. This dashboard shows us 2018 weekly orders and sales by segment, and each circle is an individual order and the size is dependent on sales. Now let's jump into Tableau and get started. For this work at Wednesday, I use the sample Superstore dataset, which you can find in the description box below. As we mentioned, we're trying to show the 2018 weekly orders and sales, so we're going to drag order date to the filters and only get the year 2018. Then we're going to do the axis. First of all, drag segment onto rows and then hold right click while you drag order date onto columns and select continuous weeks. A tree plot is composed of a bar or trunk and then the circles that go on top of it. We're going to start building those bars or trunks first, which actually represent the total number of orders placed that week. To do this, we're going to drag order ID onto rows, right click on it and change it to count distinct. Then change the marks from automatic to a bar and adjust the size. This is already the bars or the trunks of that tree plot, so we're going to move on to the circles. As we said, the circles represent each individual order, so we're going to duplicate order ID by selecting Control and dragging it next to Excel. Then we're going to change the marks from a bar to a circle, and we're going to add order ID onto the detail shelf. To show all the individual orders of that week, we need to create a table calculation. So we're going to right click on the second order ID pill and add a table calculation. Specifically, we want a running total computed using order ID only. If you remember the original dashboard, the bigger circles were at the bottom. So we need to create a custom sort that sorts it by sales because that's what the size of the circles depend on specifically sum of sales, and it's going to be descending. Now we can close the table calculation menu. The next thing we're going to do is adjust the size of the circles by dragging sales onto the size shelf. Increase the size of the circles. Now we have the trunk and the circles of that tree plot. Now we just need to put it together. So we're going to right click on the second order ID pill and select dual axis and don't forget to synchronize it. This is basically it. This is a tree plot. Now we just need to format it. Let's start by changing the color. If you go to the all marks card, we're going to remove the measure names from color and we're going to add segment onto color instead. Now let's change the opacity of the circle. So we go to the second order ID marks card, select color and change the opacity. I usually go down to around 65%. Now remove the second axis and adjust the main one so that it starts at zero and it says what it said on the original dashboard which is um, number of orders. You can remove the grid line as well. And in the original dashboard, the author also removed the column divider. And here we have it, the tree plot. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. If you did enjoy this video, then don't hesitate to check out how to make a waffle chart with my colleague Alessandro.